All right, so as usual, I'm going to take this log function and write it in like exponential form. Usually that's a good way to start. So base 2 to the power of 4 equals uh, 2x minus 3. And from there, it's pretty trivial. 2, 4, 8, 16. 16 equals 2x minus 3. Uh, 19 equals 2x. x equals 19 over 2. All right, so that's, uh, that's that first one. Uh, let's take a look at this next one here. Um, oh, okay. So the goal here is to turn it into a single log. So if we can take this whole thing and turn it into a single log, then it just becomes something that looks more like that. Uh, so at the moment, it's two logs. It's this log and then minus this log. And you should remember that if it's a log minus a log, our second log law says that it's going to be this log divided by that log. So it's going to be log base 2 x plus 2 over x equals 2. Uh, now, because it's in a single log, we can do the same thing that we did up here, just write it in exponential form. So 2 to the 2, that 2 to the 2 equals x plus 2 over x. Uh, so that's 4. I'll, I'll multiply both sides by x while I'm at it. So 4x equals x plus 2. Um, that's 4x minus x is 3x equals 2. x equals 2 over 3. This is a fairly extreme version of what I just did. Uh, you kind of got to fumble your way through this a little bit. Let's take a look. Uh, log base 10, 1 minus 2x minus 2 log base 10x. Uh, and that's the left hand side and then we've got a right hand side over here. 1 minus log base 10, 2 minus 5x. Uh, first thing, if you've got this like 2 out the front of a log, you can move it to there. So I can now say that this is log base 10, 1 minus 2x, and then minus log base 10x squared. Uh, that just needs it up because now I can start applying other log laws. Uh, equals 1. Hmm. Okay, this is going to be a huge mental leap. But we've got log base 10, we've got log base 10, we've got log base 10. I think my life will be easier if I have another log base 10. So I can say that the number 1 is log base n 10 minus log base 10, 2 minus 5x. Well, the good news now is that everything's in log base 10. Log base 10, log base 10, log base 10, log base 10. Uh, next step is to sort of make the left-hand side one log and the right-hand side one log. So that's going to be log base 10, uh, 1 minus 2x over x squared. And making this side one log, this is going to be log base 10, 10 over 2 minus 5x. All right, so one log, one log. Now, if log base 10, 1 minus 2x over x squared equals log base 10, 10 over 2 minus 5x, then that means that this bit must equal this bit. So I can drop the logs and I've just got 1 minus 2x over x squared equals 10 over 2 minus 5x. Um, it looks like it's going to end up being a quadratic at some point. So I'm going to use like some cross multiplication here. And it's going to be 10x squared equals uh, 1 minus 2x times 2 minus 5x, uh, which equals um, 10x squared. And now I need to expand that. So that's going to be 2 uh, minus 4x um, minus 5x plus 10x squared. Oh, okay. Something neat's going to happen here because... 10x squared, 10x squared, I can subtract 10x squared, and that's going to that's gonna go away now. Um, and I'll just move the negative 4x and the negative 5x to the right-hand side. So I've got 9x equals 2. So x equals 2 over 9.
Okay, uh, and then this one, if log base 2 is 7 minus x log base 2 is 7 equals 4, find the value of x. Uh, now again, probably need to like smoosh these logs together into one single log. That's my guess. So sometimes you go the wrong way, but I think that's what I need to do. Uh, now to smoosh them together, I'm going to push that x up to the top using my third log law. So I've got log base 2, 7 minus log base 2, 7 to the x equals 4. Now it's a log base 2 minus a log base 2, so I can uh, use my second log law to say that that's log base 2, this divided by this, 7 over 7x equals uh, 4. Now what can I do next? Uh, I can probably just write this in exponential form, so we can say that 2 to the 4 equals uh, 7 on 7x. Uh, 2 to the 4 is like 16, 2, 4, 8, 16. So that's 7 on 7x. Uh, and I'll move that 7x over to this side and I'll divide by 16. So 7x equals 7 on 16. Uh, that doesn't feel great at the moment, but now. Oh, now I'll just like write it in log form. So that's going to be the same as um, log base 7, 7 over 16 equals x. And a calculator will do the job for me here, I think. I, I, like, I might be able to stop there because that's like an answer. That's a, that's a thing. Uh, but I'll use my calculator and get a decimal approximation. So log AB, uh, 7, um, 7 over 16, negative 0 0.4, negative 0 0.42, I think. Uh, that looks good. The textbook solution is different. Uh, it has something like, x equals log base 2 7 minus 4 over log base 2 7 but when you type that into your calculator you get the same thing that i got so it's the same answer it's just expressed in a different form they would have used a different method to solve it than what i used but it is what it is all right that's some log stuff